So you want to automate the process of contacting and following up with leads. That's exactly what I'm going to cover today inside of Go High Level, the best SaaS company for online business owners. So here we're going to start from scratch and today's example is going to be a local coffee shop. We'll call them Smooth Brew. So let's go ahead and create a new workflow. All right, so now this is a very important part. How is the customer and the lead even going to fall into this automation? The lead would fall into this automation from scanning a QR code inside of the local business, the coffee shop. And the offer I'm going to use is scan for four free coffees over your next visits, something like that, just for this example. So to create that form, I'm going to open a new tab and run through it with you guys real quick. So in the sites tab, we're going to go all the way over to forms, click on builder, and then we're going to create a new form. This is going to be the form that the customer is going to see when they scan the QR code that's going to collect their information to then fall into this automation system that I'm gonna build here in a few minutes. What do we want the form to be called? Let's go to options and let me make sure you guys can see what I'm typing. We're gonna call it coffee, coffee form, uh, or coffee lead form, that's more appropriate. And by the way, the customers can't see the name of this. This is just for you to stay organized. And on submit, we're going to have a message and the message is going to say, thanks for claiming your free coffees. Some something like that. And then we're going to actually go back to fields here and fill out what we want the form to say. And what's so cool about go high level is you don't need to be a creative genius or a super technical freak when it comes to developing a website or a form in this case, everything's drag and drop. I'm going to call this the claim your four free coffees. Here we go. I'm going to click on the middle alignment to keep it symmetrical. So it's more pleasing to the eye. I'm going to keep it like this. And now the information I want to capture from the lead is going to be their full name, their email, and then lastly, their phone number. The reason why I put it in this order is because over a few studies, it's been shown that people are more likely to put their phone number in and fill out their phone number after they've already given this information up or already typed it in. If I were to have the phone number second or phone number first, people, for whatever reason, are a little bit more apprehensive to give the phone number away because people really don't care about giving their name away too much, their email away too much because a lot of stuff is spam anyways. But a phone number is a little bit more personal, but it's been shown, like I just said, that when the phone number is the last option to be filled out, people are more likely just to just go ahead and give it away. And also we wanna make sure that the full name is required. So we wanna make sure we're capturing their, all their information. And then lastly, we wanna have a button so they can submit this form and then fall into the automation, which we're gonna build here. So I'm gonna drag and drop a button, click on it, and we're gonna say, and to make the button symmetrical and centered, I'm gonna click on the form again and then click full width. Now it's a clean form for people to fill out. And let's change the color to, I don't know, let's change it to, you do wanna try and match the color of the button though with the branding of the website. So let's go back and let's go pick what we want the workflow trigger to be. It's going to be a form submitted. So we're gonna click that, form submitted, and we're, we're gonna click add filters, select form is coffee lead form. So let's click save trigger, and we're going to save up here as well. And I'm gonna move my face cam back up here so you guys can see everything. But what we just did, whenever someone goes and submits that form, they're going to fall into this automation now, which I'm gonna build out. So first thing is you're going to assign a user. Let me click assign user, and you're gonna click yourself. For this example, you're just clicking yourself. You would be clicking the uh, business owner once they're onboarded onto your Go High Level account, or, or their own Go High Level sub account. You'd be picking them because they're the user that you wanna assign since it's their business. But for this example, I have to just assign to myself since this is my own account. But now we're gonna go and click SMS because we wanna go ahead and send a text message out and thanking these people for and congratulating these people for claiming their offer. We wanna go ahead and say, hey, congrats on claiming your offer, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna type that out for you guys right now. And then what we wanna do, this is something that I've noticed works really well, even though it is an immediate text back and, and it's like an immediate text after they submit the lead form, you just wanna remind them who they're texting and just say, hey, it's blank, just reaching out to you. So I'm gonna say, essentially what I have typed up so far is, hey, whatever name, it's Smooth Brew congratulating you on claiming your four free coffees during your next visits. Make sure to use oops, make sure to use them within the next 10 days before the offer expires. Someone that goes and gets coffee is usually gonna get coffee almost every day, if not every day. So if you can entice them to come to your place four times for free, that, and they like your coffee, then they're more likely probably going to come back and begin to start a new habit of going to your business, even after this free trial of four coffees is over. 
And I'm saying 10 days because we want to make sure people don't really abuse this offer too much by extending it and saying, hey, I have all these offers still, even though they've already used the four offers, because people try to abuse systems either way, no matter what, when things are free. But that's why I'm going to add this next part. I'm going to add a date that they received this form and fell into this automation. So they can't lie and exaggerate, oh, I, uh, I signed up on this day, when it's going to say the exact date they signed up with. So I'm going to say, be sure to show the barista. I'm gonna to go to custom values, scroll down to right now, and then we're gonna click on this one. So essentially, they're gonna say the date of when they claimed the offer, and I will show you guys this in the text so I can show you on screen what this whole automation would look like. So once again, I'm reminding the lead they have 10 days to use these four free coffees, and then I'm gonna go and test it and show you guys what it will look like. Here we go, guys. You can see I have the automation text right here. It says, hey, Franks, it's Smooth Brew congratulating you on claiming your four free coffees. And at the bottom, it says the barista show them you claimed your offer on one or January 5th, 2023, which is today. And it says you have 10 days to use all four free coffees. Uh, so that's the automation text that just got sent. And that's what it would look like for anyone who fills out that lead form. They would receive that immediately. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that entire process but for email and then from name we're going to do the name of the company we're going to do smooth brew uh, or whatever company you know you're working with and then for the from email you're going to put their business email so that's like the recipient email which is the one that's being sent out from so then the subject and then i'm going to add a coffee emoji just to make it a little bit more fun <laughs> and playful and just more eye-catching because when someone sees a coffee emoji on their phone they'll know exactly what it is as opposed as opposed to just text so now we can just go ahead and copy basically the same message we sent, but for email and just change the wording a little bit. So this is the email that I would be using. I changed it up a little bit, made it a little bit shorter because we want the customer to be directed to look at the text that we sent them. So I said, we also sent you a text with some details. Make sure to show the barista you claimed your offer with a little smiley face, because why not? Everyone wants some more positivity in their life. And then we're gonna click save. And then I'm gonna click save again up here. So that was a super simple automation that you guys can use and build out whatever you want. You guys can literally add so many more things if you really wanted to. But for this example, it's just pretty straightforward. But I'm also gonna have another video soon as well, how you guys can create a QR code from scratch, link a website to it, so you guys can create that QR code. And when you guys sign a client and have a client, you'll be able to give them the QR code, put it on their the cashier desk or whatever, people will be able to scan it and redeem the offer and then fall into this automation. I'm going to keep that separate because otherwise this video will be too long, but I'm going to be doing that very shortly. So I hope you guys learned something in this video and I hope you guys start implementing this into your online business because it's pretty straightforward to use and Go High Level once again is the greatest SaaS company for online businesses uh, and they really have everything inside. So hope to see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.